So we've done a few videos on Boeing versus Airbus, and we've learned a lot about them individually and what makes them different. But one thing that we haven't gone into great detail is, is safety. And although they say that flying is safer than driving to some standards, we wonder how true that actually is. And today we look at the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320 and look at the dark sides of these two aircrafts and see the differences between their occurrences. Hey everybody, how you doing? What's up? Dave Wapple here and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where I look at people, cultures, places, and all that lovely jazz. But I hope you guys are having yourself a fantastic day and I'm pretty excited to look at this because yeah, I've done a bunch of other Airbus videos, but this one is the one that really excites me is the kind of bad stuff that's happened. Now, before I get in this video, just letting you guys know this video has been brought to you by good old fashioned Grammarly.com. I'll get into that a little bit later. And with that, if you guys like this video, just give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more of these type of videos. And if you like these type of videos, be sure to check out the playlist because I've done some stuff that I think you guys will like. They'll be in the boxes above that you can scroll down and check or in the description box below. But let's get right to the facts. So as we get into the nitty grittiness of this, let's understand that there are several different types of incidents. There are hull losses where the plane is just basically completely wrecked that it has to get a lot of repairs or it's just completely wasted. The other one is just, you know, your little tiny bumps here and there. Maybe something happens, but the plane is still usable without getting a lot of repairs. And within some of these cases and numbers, the detailed events aren't entirely given. Also with that, you have to understand that Boeing has been around for a much longer time. Airbus SE started in the year 2000, but Airbus planes have been around since they introduced the Airbus 300 series, which dates back its production as far back as 1971. Boeing, however, has been around for a much longer time, and it's been around since 1916 when it was known as Pacific Aero Company. On top of that, you got the 737, which is the aircraft that we're talking around. It's been around a lot longer than the A320 because it entered service in 1968, whereas the Airbus A320 wasn't introduced until 1988. So there's a major 20 year difference between these aircrafts of being released. And with that, keep in mind, there's a lot of, well, different safety regulations that get put into effect within 20 years. And let's just not forget the fact that, you know, the older the airplane, the more maintenance it's going to need over time. And because of that, you get incidences and occurrences. As well, you also got to remember that when it comes to the 737s, there's a lot more of them. As of 2019, they have produced at least 10,478 737s, whereas the Airbus A320, there's about 8,806 of them. Overall, though, let's take a look. Now, the 737, since its introduction, of all the entire series and variants, they've had about 468 incidents, according to AviationSafety.net. Of that, they state there is about 212 of them that have been complete hull losses. And some of these hull losses, I'm going to get into this a little bit later, they're not just hull losses due to things that didn't happen intentionally. This could be also criminal or something like a hostile takeover. The Airbus A320 is a little hard to tell. So AviationSafety.net wiki database states that there has been 506 occurrences, whereas their standard site database states 91. Keep in mind, not all these numbers may be completely accurate. These are recorded incidents that have been released to public knowledge. Of all of the variants of the Airbus A320, which also includes the A319 and the A321, which are formed basically from the same frame and are of the Airbus A320, 20 family, it states that there is approximately 35 hull losses in total. Now, the good thing is, is we can actually break this down into different categories. So you have the Boeing 737, which has approximately 212 hull losses. But with these ones, which were not criminal or intentional, but were merely something that went wrong, it comes in at 194 occurrences. Of that 194, unfortunately, 4,711 lives were lost within that number and category. But of the 212 hull losses in total, 122 of them were because of intentional reasons. An example being a hostile takeover or something like that. Within that category, 675 lives were lost due to those circumstances. In total, you have 5,386 lives lost because of the total 212 hull losses. 
Same reasons go for the A320. However, their losses are lower coming in at 799 of 35 total hull losses. 15 of these 35 were a result from criminal intentions, which resulted in 217 lives, making a total of 1,016 lives lost from all of the hull losses. However, some sources have said that this to be much higher, coming in at 1,393. Not sure how accurate that is, but keep in mind, both of these planes do have a survival rating of 32% and over. It's not really good. The Boeing 737 had a few bad years. You had 1988 to 1989, and of course, 2006 to 2007, and 2014 to 15. Those years were the highest, losing nine aircrafts each within those years. At the time of recording this video, which is the year 2019, the aircraft has been around for 51 years, resulting in an average hull loss of 4.15 aircrafts a year. The Airbus A320 had its worst year in 2005 to 2006, where it lost five that year. However, from 2013 to 14 and from 2014 to 15, each year they lost four aircrafts coming in at eight for the two years. Since its introduction in 1987, it's lost 1.13 aircrafts a year. So let's talk about some of the major occurrences for each aircraft. For the 737, the first occurrence was on July 19th, 1970. This was due to the fact that the pilot aborted takeoff for the United Airlines Flight 611. When the aircraft was taking off at the Philadelphia International Airport, a large bang was heard, and therefore the pilot aborted the takeoff. This, however, did not result in a loss of life. But it was two years later on July 5th, 1972, that two individuals took over the Pacific Southwest Airlines Flight 710. This took off out of San Francisco and they demanded $800,000 and a flight to Russia. Besides the two individuals, there was also one loss of life. And I believe this was also a major influence to the 1972 film called Skyjacked with Charlton Heston. I believe they got a lot of inspiration from this actual event. Within that same year of 1978, on December 8th, United Airways Flight 553 failed landing at the Chicago International Airport. This resulted in a loss of life of 43 of the 61 individuals on the plane, and this was the first major loss of life for a Boeing 737. The biggest, however, was the 737 MAX occurrence on October 29th, 2018, when Lion Air Flight 610 went into the Java Sea with 180 people on board. Now, the Airbus A320's first occurrence was on July 26, 1988. This happened on Air France's flight number 296 at the Mulhouse Habsheim Airport in France. Unfortunately, three of the 136 people were lost on board the flight. This was, however, really due to the fact that these individuals failed to exit the aircraft safely after it crashed into trees. The biggest, however, that was a more mechanical reason was shortly after with India Airlines on February 14th, 1990. Basically, a fire broke out resulting in 88 of the 146 people being lost. This also made India Air Flight 605 the eighth worst incident in all of India. But however, the number one worst incident with a 737 was the TAM Airlines Flight 3054. This happened on July July 7th, 2007. It came into Sao Paulo Airport but missed the runway and ended up hitting the TAM Express warehouse. This was really bad because as soon as it hit the warehouse, it just immediately boom. And unfortunately, 87 people on the aircraft were lost and 12 people on the ground were also lost coming in at a total of 199 people. As a matter of fact, it is the worst occurrence in South American history and the worst unintentional occurrence with an Airbus A320. Now that being said, when it comes to criminal and intentional reasons, that one's a lot higher. This was Metrojet Flight 9268. This happened at the Sharm El Sheikh International Airport in Egypt. This was another story where the plane took off and immediately just kaboom. Officials say that this flight that 
was headed for Russia did have a device on board, which resulted in the loss of life of 224 people. Metrojet Flight 9268 is the worst aviation incident for Russia and Egypt's history, and was the worst in 2015. On top of that, it was the worst incident regarding an Airbus A320 line. Keep in mind though, although this sounds bad, the Airbus has a 0.12 fatal hull loss for every million flights and a 0.26 regular haul loss for every million takeoffs making it one of the safest planes in the world so there you go guys that is it that is me looking at the differences between these two aircrafts when it comes to their occurrences and incidents what are your thoughts on this and i mean hey if you know any other stories that you want to tell be sure to let me know down there in the comment section below but let me ask you this now knowing that which plane would you want to travel on like i said it's not a really good way to compare things because you know time is a major thing maintenance is a major thing and also sometimes it's up to what companies take care of these aircrafts it doesn't mean the aircraft itself is bad it could mean that the company itself is just not you know up to code on certain things but anyways my name is dave wapla if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more of them and be sure to check out our cool playlists which I'll put at the end of the video but you guys have yourself a fantastic day oh and yes don't forget to check out grammarly.com down there in the description box below hit the link it's totally free you can use it on your phone and it helps with your grammar anyways you guys have yourself a fantastic day see ya okay guys so here are those playlists that I was telling you about feel free to check them out awesome stuff Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to leave a comment and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.